Hello, my name is Bridget and I'm the vicar of the Good Shepherd and St Peter's Churches in Lee. Let me start by asking you a question. How are you feeling right now? If I asked you to choose three words to describe how you're feeling, which three words would you choose? I think mine would be bored, tired and uninspired. Hopefully this assembly won't be too uninspiring. But what about you? What words would you choose? Last week, I spoke to some of the young people who come to our church and I asked them how they're feeling at the moment. And it was noticeable that many of them are finding life quite hard. One of them said that he is feeling really demotivated, especially when it comes to schoolwork. He's finding schoolwork is really boring and he just can't get started on it. The problem is that he wants to do well in his GCSEs and he'll be really disappointed if he doesn't. So he's struggling with that tension between feeling completely demotivated but wanting to do well. Another one of the young people I spoke to said that she was hungry all the time and she couldn't stop snacking. I totally relate to that one. And then another one said that every single day is the same and that they're really bored with life. I wonder if you relate to any of those comments. I think I do. Last week, I also spoke to one of the adults in our church congregation, and he was saying that he's feeling really inadequate at the moment. He's feeling that he's rubbish at everything, that he's not a very good dad, he's not a very good son, and he's not a very good husband. He's just feeling a bit of a failure, I think. Again, I wonder if you relate to that comment. It strikes me that what many people need right now is a bit of encouragement. We need to be told that actually life is quite hard and we're doing well and we should hang in there and keep going. Now I wonder where do you look if you need some encouragement? I think many of us look to our families, to the people who love us, to friends, maybe you look to teachers, just people to tell you that you're doing well or to give you a bit of feedback. I know that if I'm looking for some encouragement one of the voices that I listen to is the voice of God. And the way I hear God speaking to me is through the Bible, through the things that God says about us as humans in the Bible. Now, I think many people suspect that God is a bit like a really strict teacher, that God is constantly disappointed with us and disappointed with our performance and wants us to try harder or do better. But actually, that's not my experience of God. I think God wants to tell us how much we matter to him. So let me tell you some of the things that the Bible says about who we are, about who you are. You are loved. You are chosen. You are known. You are God's children. You have a purpose. You are God's workmanship. You are precious. You are not alone. You are wonderfully made. You are a light in the world. You are my friends, says God. You are gifted. You are good. You belong. You are made in God's image. I think we all need to hear messages like that, whether we hear them from God, whether we hear them from parents or friends or teachers. We need to know that we're doing well. We need the encouragement to keep going. And whilst I'm talking about parents and teachers, maybe they need a bit of encouragement as well. I'm not a teacher, but from what I understand, teaching people online is not that easy. So maybe you could say thank you or well done or that was helpful or it was fun. I enjoyed it. I learned something. I wonder at this really difficult time whether all of us need to change the script a little bit. Rather than choosing words like bored and tired and uninspired, Maybe we need to think of some better messages to encourage ourselves to keep going. These are my three. 
take one day at a time. You're doing well. You deserve that chocolate. Keep being you and keep going. Thanks for listening.